Hello, I'm Lynn Marie Rosenberg. Welcome to this incredibly honest tutorial, how to be a creepy misogynist DM troll. I have a friend who is a, f a famous human being. And I say human being because I think the creepy misogynist DM trolls who send her messages don't understand that that's what she is. She keeps a list of all of the creepy DMs she sent. And today I'm going to read you verbatim what she has sent on a regular basis pretty much every day. The first way to be a creepy misogynist DM troll is with the classics. Eat me. I want to F you. You want to F? And my personal favorite, I want sex with you. Listen, he, he might be a creepy DM troll, but at least he knows what he wants in life. And, and even with the classics, you can still be polite. Let me show you my D, Pliss. Pliss respond. At least he says Pliss. Another way to be a creepy misogynist DM troll is to tell the person all about their own body parts. Nice tits and ass. You have dirty eyes. I will pay for your feet. Hello, it would be to know your foot size, please. She, she gets a lot of foot stuff. But to, to really ramp your DM misogyny up a notch, you can specifically tell the person what's wrong with their body. You look like a skinny sex doll, and that's a good thing, but you could put on meat, too. I saw you in London once, and I couldn't believe how small you are. Face of an angel, but you are so tiny. I still would. I don't ever want you to finish that sentence. And no, you would not. A fun, tricky way to be a misogynist DM troll is to start one way and then redirect. You are such a great actress, I would love to be in you. We really started out okay, and, and then we ended up back in misogyny. Another way to let your creepy misogyny shine through is just directly degrading somebody. I hate you are content. You are a shit actress. Thank you so much for letting me know what I am. A great way to spice up your creepy misogyny in your DMs is with an emoji. What would you do with nine ink of eggplant emoji? I don't know what the collective noun inks is, but I assume that that's too much eggplant emoji. Another way to prove that you're a creepy misogynist DM troll is to lie about being married. You're hot. I don't say that like I do you. I'm married and my wife is hot. I'm just saying, but it do you. Does that make sense? Doesn't matter. Have fun. There's absolutely no way that this human was either married or with a hot person. Doesn't matter. Have fun. A really effective way to prove that you're a misogynist is to yell. Your dumb woman brain just doesn't understand. Say thank you. If at first you don't get your misogyny across, try, try in all caps. To really clarify your misogyny, tell, tell a woman about the rules of the world. As man, I reserve my right to hold your hand and determine first kiss. But anything and everything else physical will be 100% in your control. What, when, and where? For your information, sir, when it comes to someone else's body, you have no rights. But lastly, a, a really original way to prove you're a creep and a misogynist is to write what this person wrote. Hot chicky doo doo. I can tell you from having seen the other things this person wrote to her. Doo doo does not refer to the lyrics of a song. Th there you go. There's all the ways you can prove that you're a creepy misogynist in a famous person's real actual DMs that she gets every single day. May maybe if men understood that she's a human being better, they'd stop writing things like this. Maybe if they understood that everyone who isn't them is still a human being, they'd stop writing things like this. Hope that was really helpful. Always say your pluses and TUs.